Good morning, everybody. Happy snow day. We are here live with Mindy Hoover from Love the Dress event, which is coming up soon. I love this event. I think it's so fun for students, something a little different. Uh, Mindy, how's it going this morning? It's going good. We're all snuggled in our little electric throws around the house and just enjoying it. <laughs> Yeah. So tell us quickly about Love the Dress event. It's such a great idea. Well, uh, Love the Dress has been around for 11 years. We um, really focus on girls who would love to go to prom, but maybe can afford a $200 to $1,000 dress. And we have um, lots of different places donate from other students and people in the community. We have bridal shops. We have designers, MAC national, international designers that partner with us and send us boxes of dresses. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, any girl can get a dress. You don't have to be in an in income bracket. And uh, this past year probably will uh, you know be a big reflection of that with maybe one parent not being able to work or be without a job. Uh, so where some people, like if you have an event like this, they make you bring in your actual pay stubs or government assistant checks or anything to let you in the door. Uh, we don't discriminate. You could, uh, it doesn't really matter what your parents do or you can come and get a dress. And if you are in financial need, you get a dress for free of course but if you're just wanting to get a good deal we ask them to give like a $20 donation or a $10 donation it just helps with us to put the event on because events aren't free and um, yeah. so that's kind of us in a nutshell the girls come in and we decorate the venue we have about 1500 dresses then um, they get a personal shopper like if you were going to a nice boutique that walks around with you holds your dresses helps you shop kind of guides you through the process and we have jewelry we have shoes purses um, anything the girls will need it's a pretty neat event we just do our best to love on them and uh, with the time allotted and make the girls feel super special by the time they leave yeah uh, are you guys still doing the exchange where you can bring in a dress and get a ticket and then yes. pick? Okay. Yes. And Williamson County Schools is a huge partner in that. Uh, they all, um, I think pretty much all the schools and a few in Nashville, they do dress drives. And the girls actually bring dresses to the high school and they give us their email. I email them a voucher and they can get one for free. And they kind of just incentivizes the girls to um, donate a dress, kind of keeps everything rotation, keeps the stock rotation, as <laughs> as to say. So, yeah, it's pretty yeah. neat. And the girls can actually bring dresses to the event to donate, and we give them a voucher for our free one. So, yeah. I noticed that you're doing appointments this year. So, tell me how that works. Is yeah. there still time? Because it's coming up on the twin. The event is coming up next week in the twenty seventh, right? Yes, yes. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just, you know, technology is catching up with us. So um, this is the perfect year to kind of try this out. Uh, I just have a website that the girls can choose a slot. Normally in the mornings, there's like 100 girls waiting at the door uh, to get in, to be first in line. So this year, we just was fe February 12th at 4 p.m. We're going to open it up. and the girls got online and secured their their spots and uh, that way we ask the girls to only come 15 minutes beforehand uh, we still have a large room they can sit in but we're hoping to only have maybe 15 girls in a waiting room um, instead of 100 plus and um, and we will have way fm there again this year they were really really great last year to dj and to kind of give away prizes and play games and talk with the girls while they're waiting so um, that helps pass the time as well while they're waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're also looking for volunteers. I volunteered at this event for a few years. It's been a couple of years since I've been able to volunteer. So much fun. I was one of those personal shoppers who helped when the students find what they were looking for. I actually ended up, I was just telling you, with a couple of girls that I'd met the previous years, which was so fun to see them, how their taste changed you know, what they liked, what they were looking for, and then also just to see how, get an update on what they were up to. 
That is amazing. Yeah. When you told me that there were a couple of girls that have come in every single year from down from Hohenwald. We have girls that come uh, from up to two hours away from Jackson to Cookville, Kentucky to Alabama, and they'll drive an hour and a half, two hours to come to this event. Um, and there are these two girls from Hohenwald that come three or four years in a row. And it was just amazing to see them come in. And then the first year they were in college, they came back and they volunteered. And so kind of full circle, the girl, they just love the event. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty neat to watch the girls that come back every year or to see a dress come back. They got the dress the year before at the event, and then they bring it back next year to trade it and uh, to love the dress to get them another one. So they just keep recycling uh, through the years, which is pretty cool. Yeah. If you're looking to volunteer, tell us how they can sign up to volunteer. Cause I noticed you're still looking for volunteers for the event. Yes. Yes. And we still need a lot of volunteers, especially uh, ladies that can help them shop. You do not have to be a shopping expert at all. You just need to be a willing body that will come in and just speak life into these girls and uh, just help them, tell them they look beautiful. It's really simple. And you can go on our website that is uh, lovethedresstn.com and you will see ways to volunteer. Uh, there's also a place for the girls to register on our website and there's also ways to donate if you have dresses and you haven't donated yet um we have quite a few drop-offs throughout williamson county and up toward uh, berry hill so if people want to donate we are still accepting donations until the wednesday before the event hey it's been great to talk to you today you guys go check it out love the dress it's so much fun even if you don't have a student that age. Uh, it was I did it a little bit before my daughter became old enough to even think about prom. So that was kind of fun to help me introduce me to that. All right, you guys go check it out. Thanks, Mindy, for joining me this morning. Yes, absolutely. All right, stay tuned with us here next, coming up next in about half an hour, we're going to be talking to City of Brentwood. We're going to get an update on what the roads look like and what's going on out there. All right, see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.